Greetings everyone and welcome back to Victoria 2 of your host, Monsieur Mokobavar, in which right now we have an event to do. We can build the Eiffel Tower. Look at that. Built as the entrance to the 1889 World's Fair, the Eiffel Tower is one of the most enduring and iconic symbols of Paris and of French architecture. Named for its designer Gustave Eiffel, the Eiffel Tower was the tallest man-made structure in the world until the 1930 completion of New York City's Chris Chrysler Building. Very cool. And we're going to lose how much money? Get the construction of the Eiffel Tower. Work on the foundations of the Eiffel Tower began. For those east and south legs were straightforward. Uh, each leg resting upon four two meters or 6.6 .6 feet concrete slabs. One for each of the principal girders of each leg, but the other two being closer to the river sign. Or more complicated. Each slab needed two piles in installed by using compressed air caissons. 15 meters, 49 feet long, and 6 meters, 20 feet long, in diameter, driven to a depth of about 22 meters, to support the concrete slabs, which were 6 meters thick. Each one of these slabs supported a block building of limestone, each with an inclined top to bear a th supporting shoe for the armwork. Each shoe was anchored into the stonework by a pair of bolts, 10 centimeters in diameter and 7.5 meters long. Wow. The foundations were complete by 1874 and the erection, oh boy, of the ironwork began. For this part, we needed to set a budget for the construction. Pay or owe us that much money? 30,000 pounds? That's it? I got 300,000, man. That's the minimum. We're going to invest the m more than what is planned. Aw, yeah. There we go. And it's time to go to war with uh, the Ratanakosin Kingdom. I think it's also, also I want to go to war with Vietnam, but I'm just I'm like, eh, I don't know. I want to stop the Brits from reunifying all the way to the southeast, so... Actually, I don't even know what I want. Probably a port. That sounds like a good idea. Uh, well, North Malay sounds actually kind of nice. Tropical. What RGOs are, are, are around here? See, so that stuff. That's pretty good to grab. Not gonna lie. Do we want opium? We love opium. But is that good for us? Probably not. Now, I don't exactly remember which one of these is the most valuable. But I'm considering taking Isani... Oh... Oh, well, they have an opium problem down there. Hmm. North Malaya. It's just not... Oh, I, I want to do it. That tropical wood. How, how much is tropical wood selling for right now? 6.7. Eh. I would prefer to take a full state. Siamese. North, northern. Eh, I also have this one too, but... Wood. How... Wood is okay. Eh. I kind of don't mind taking like a province like this. Just because it's on the coast... And from there, we can uh, go expand even more. We can take more of this. We can almost block them and get to uh, Luang Prabang. Almost. So, you know what? I guess we'll take this one. Isan, just in case, for the future. Let's see what we can do. They have a score of 25, which isn't too bad. So, I'll take Isan because we can. Uh, do we have allies who will join us in the war? Yeah. U.S., Ottomans, and some Italian dudes. Now, I haven't invested fully in my military right now. And that's all right. Hopefully. Less plurality, plurality, and organization regain. Oh, we've got some comments to go through as well. Uh, someone recommended that we take as many... Uh, oh. As many states as possible because we need to expand the French influence as far and wide, so we will. But the discovery of Troy, that was another a thing, like the discovery of the Aegean Ocean and Sea and ancient civilizations. I clicked on that earlier just because I didn't want to stop and read about that event. But in excavating this wall further and directly by the side of the palace of King Priam... A priam, I came upon a larger copper article, the most remarkable form, which attracted my attention all the more as I thought I saw gold behind it. In order to withdraw the treasure from the greed of my workmen and to save it for archaeology, I immediately had lunch break called, and while the men were eating and resting, I cut out the treasure with a large knife. It would, however, have been impossible for me to have removed the treasure without the help of my dear wife, who stood by me ready to pack the things which I cut out in her shawl and to carry them away. A French archaeologist unearthed the remains of the lost city of Troy and Anatolia, as well as other numerous findings of the so-called Aegean civilizations. The treasures found were named Priam's treasure and were acquired by several Paris museums. These discoveries led to an explosion of talent in archaeology and captured the imagination of millions. Fascinating. Also, I've had like four, five, or six, even up to six, like world fairs that we're hosting, which has done wonders for our prestige. We're now number two in the world. Not that it means a lot. As ISP likes to say, they're just, you know, you know, you know the poem point or something like that. Hey, two Sicilies? Sure, why not two Sicilies? I could always use more Italians. We got the Pope, we got the North Italians, we got the Southern Italians. We love Italians here. I'm not even Italian, but we love Italians. My mom loves Italian food. Very cool. Oh, they're rebels too! <laughs> reactionaries. Thank you, reactionaries. Uh, protectionism. I'm not even going to click bother reading that. Right now, we got to be uh, protectionistic. And we don't need to conquer everything. No, actually, I'm, I'm thinking about going to war with Spain. 
Then again, I say a lot of things and we don't fall through them, fall through with them, or to them, or going for them. Just because situations come and go and it isn't great. Other comments include, someone asked me, what is the length of this campaign? That's a very good question, and usually I try to keep it up until the 1930s. Anything longer than the 1930s, it just, it's not worth playing. Especially by that time, hopefully I'll have beaten up everyone in the game. At least once, maybe. Most of the times. But, we're currently researching machine guns. We did do a deep defense system. Up next, I'm probably going to grab... Revolution and counter-revolution, that's really good to do. And right now I'm trying to get more bureaucrats in a lot of different states. Ooh. There's one faith and one faith only. Ah, oh, I love it. Well, we've got a really good dice roll, nine. Uh, protests. Uh, the Chamber of Commerce in one of our states has lodged an angry protest with local governments, complaining that the government's economic policy of economic interventionism harms local business by distorting the fundamental logic for the free market. Inspired by Enlightenment publications of free trade and laissez-faire by the French physiocrats and the Scottish Enlightenment, the Chamber of Com Commerce demands that the government's policy change and that be left alone to conduct business in the manners in which they see fit. If their demands are not met, they threaten to raise issue to the national level. Some slight adjustments? I refuse to submit to, yeah, oh, I'll do some slight adjustments just because we got to protect our, you know, industry from people who would want to see destroyed cholera. If you'd like to read about cholera, go right ahead. Quarantine in the province is in Bougie. Well, let's take a look. Bougie is right here. I remember this one because I looked at this earlier. Let's see. Maghrebi, Berber, and Northwest Bantu. There's not a lot of French, so... <clears throat> How bad could it get? <laughs> Merci. Oh, we're fighting these guys too. Are we? Oh, they must be their puppet states or something. Champasak. Cool. I wonder how much more we have to do to actually get rid of these guys. Oh, not much. And there we have it. Beautiful. Another territory for us. That is really ugly. Oh, oh and that's actually... Oh, that's their other state, huh? Oh, we just had a war with them, didn't we? Oh, cool. Uh, before I forget, let's go through some more comments. Bring back Napoleon. I have no idea how to do that, I'll be honest. If you know how to bring back Napoleon, please let me know in the comments below. But, uh, yeah, I'm not really sure. And look at that Chinese score. 247. Holy bad words. That's a lot of Chinese guys there. Ready to die for the, uh, Emperor. And then, let's see. There's apparently some special content in some mods. If France beats Prussia or the North, North German Federation during the Franco-Prussian War. Now, that, I'm sure that's probably true. I don't know. I didn't try it this time around. So, it is what it is. But, let's continue building our army. So, we have one, two, build three... Four, five, and we gotta get one, two, three, four, and into five, one for another good army because I don't trust the Germans. No one should trust the Germans. Words to live by. And here we are, everyone, August 1st, 1875, in which let's go to war with Morocco because, well, we can. So, let's see, Agadir or Marrakesh? Which one would we prefer? Agadir is not bad. Actually, this area should have some pretty good stuff over here, but Marrakesh, we wouldn't even be able to touch. And you know me, we like to touch. So, also, I did get a war goal against Egypt as well, so that'd be very, very nice. Yeah, I guess we'll go for Agadir, because that helps us connect to the sea, so. I'm not going to call any allies in, because I don't want a Spain to come in, too, so. It is what it is, and they'll go to war with the other dudes. Ah, Egyptians, because right now there's an Oriental Crisis happening. And if we can move fast enough, we can get stuff from them, so. That'd be nice. That'd be very, very nice, actually. But what sucks is that we're already maxed out for our army budget. Or just, you know, military in general. Which really just garbage, I'd say. Alright, is that enough? I doubt it is. Okay, never mind. And there you go, that's all you need. Who knew that's all you need to take those guys out? Hmm. Love it. Oh, we have another. Oh, yes, yes. Another division. Or another the army. You guys need time to heal up? Nope, you're going straight to Egypt. <laughs> Luxembourg time. Ah, oh, Luxembourg, yes. I'd love to eat them up, but... Oh, an animal died. So, be, I don't even know what I want from these guys. Turkey, you're, the Ottoman Empire is doing a pretty good job with these guys, so we'll see what happens. Hopefully, we can snap something off them real quick, like... And, budget, I haven't even changed the budget since the last time we saw each other, which wasn't that long ago. Alright, let's see. What do I want from these guys? Partially westernized, declare war for... So, Dongola? Well, let's see. Man, they extend really down south. Dong I usually go for Dongola. I, mean, I don't really care for it, though. Really, not too much. Wow, there's 136 guys here. I'd hate to live there. Uh, that's where we're going to send a front bunch of other French people there. I kind of like Egyptian sign, I, but I wish these guys weren't able to get that. Ugh. 
It'd look really bad if we get the Western Desert, though. Hmm. We need a coastal province, at least. Middle Egypt. What does Middle Egypt look like? That would look so bad. But they do have cotton there, which would be kind of nice. Asyut. Um, grain. A lot more cotton. I don't remember. I'll be honest. I don't even remember where the uh, the good provinces are. Dongola would not be bad. I want to... You know what? I take it every single time to take on Dongola. But that literally gives us a land route into Ethiopia, which I want to hit next. So I guess Dongola is going to have to be it then. They still practice slavery down here. Sudanese folks, Bayoudins, Beja, multicultural, and that's what France is. Nothing but if multicultural. There we go. Dongola, here we go. Call it allies in. Um, sure. Call all of our allies in, even though the dudes down here already are. Nice. Head on in, boys. We're going to Giza. We're going to see some pyramids. And then we're going to grab another army and head on down here, too. There you go, boys. Let's get out of here. Let's uh, skedaddle. And pick up 30,000 more soldiers. Yeah, they're not looking too good for the budget right now, but that's okay. It'll be better later on. I hope. <sighs> Alright, let's move. Nice. The goal is to win against the Egyptians before the Ottomans do. That's the main goal. If we kill our soldiers, hey, the Pope's here. Hey, Guglielmo Catano, Catano, Catano. Oh wait, there's two, two. All, all, all the Italians are. Look at that, two Sicilians and started beating Piedmont. Francisco's here. Giacomo's here. Kill those Egyptians. Uh. Oh yes. Even though we're losing, well, we didn't lose that. There's many, nearly as many. As, that, wow, I. And that's literally all it took. Welcome home, my friends. I guess it's time for Ethiopia then, right? And we'll make a concession from those guys. Not bad. We're moving We're moving fast. Holy crap. Uh, I'll let you guys stay down here. There should be, hopefully, at least one thing. Ah, yes, we can make more divisions. Good, 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 good. Uh, we can do that, so be it. And we... Actually, it's only one more division. Nice. And it's a good division in which we can just throw away these guys, the Beodin Infantry, and they can die for a cause. If that's the case, I'm going to throw... Where's my shippies? We're going to send these guys back home to Algiers. I love it. And here we are, everyone. Once again, ready to go to war with now the good old people in Ethiopia. Even though there's a little bit of lag because of the auto-saving, that's totally okay. And you know what? They still practice slavery in Eritrea. How terrible. But the debtor's prison. As the 19th century dawned on Europe, the practice of jailing people who defaulted on their debts was still the norm in England. Infamous examples of such institutions, debtors' prisons, included London's Free Fleet Prison. In these institutions, debtors who were not seldom expected to pay for both board and room, and sometimes even jail, even special jailers' fees to effectively pay for their jailers for their upkeep. Oftentimes, these practices only served to further complicate the debtors' financial situation, as it, for natural reasons, is hard to earn money from inside a prison wall. The system was gradually banned in most European countries throughout the 19th century, and Lenin's fleet prison was torn down in 1846. A wrongly jailed French aristocrat is now drawing public attention to these institutions, calling for their abolishment. At, ah, things finally happen when it happens to the rich. Uh, sure. Let's go for bankruptcy. That's not a bad idea, right? And let's have a good time in Ethiopia, right? You, me, and Eritrea. Well, actually, I probably should have called in other people. Let's see if we can't call these people in. Would you like to come in? Ah, oh, yes. And you know what? You know who really wants to help out? The Americans, but even more than the Americans? Italians. The Italians, historically, have always 100% loved Ethiopians. Let's look it up in the history books. They love them so much they go to war with them so often. At least they did. I'm literally calling in the entire Italian peninsula in, except for northern, uh, northeastern Italy, because they're controlled by someone else. But that's neither here nor there. Hold on, someone... What the... Bad words. You do, just, no, the desert's hot place. You don't want to be there. <laughs> it's hot enough in our blue territory. <laughs> don't go to the, the the bear territory. That's not very good. Uh, let's see. Oh, good. 
I wonder when Italy's going to unify, because I'm literally allied to the entire, like, country of them. Oh, the Eiffel Tower is finished! Great! The main structural work was completed at the end of March 1889, and today Eiffel celebrated this by leading a group of government officials, accompanied by representatives of the press, to the top of the tower. Since the lifts were not yet in operation, the ascent was made by foot and took over an hour, Eiffel frequently stopping to make explanations of various features. Most of the party chose to stop at the lower levels, but a few, including Nogia, Compagnon, the president of the city council, and reporters from El Figaro and Le Monde El Completed the climb at 235 Eiffel, hoisted a large French flag to the accompaniment of 25 gun salute fired from the lower level. There was still work to be done, particularly in the lifts and the fitting out of the facilities for visitors. And the, but and the tower was not open to the public, but the tower was an immediate success of the public, and nearly 30,000 visitors made the 1710 step climb to the top using the stairs before the lifts entered service. Viva la Tour Eiffel! Nice. I like big constructions. Oh. You want to go right there. Cool. Let's go here. We're going straight to there, and I'm going to smack down some Ethiopian boys. And girls, too, if need be. Doesn't matter what gender, we're going to smack them all. Uh, let's see. You'll be there on the 10th. You'll be there on the 12th. Well, let's go right there, then. And we have another thing we can do here. Uh, bureaucrats? We can throw some bureaucrats around here. Oh, uh, yeah, maybe. Oh, there you do that. There you go. Um, we got bureaucrats over here. Yep, might as well put some bureaucrats over here, too, right? Maybe, maybe not. All right, what do we have? Enact. Mm, do women? Hmm, women's suffrage is that worth it? <sighs> do we really want women to be able to vote? Ah, uh, we did give them universal voting for everyone. So the idea of women's suffrage increasingly gained traction in Western society through the nineteenth century. First advocated in the writings of early liberal philosophers such as England's Mary Wollstonecraft John, or John Stuart Mill, the idea and ideology of women's suffrage gradually developed as the century wore on into a coherent ideology in its own right, feminism. The experience during the First World War of women working in factories and other jobs previously reserved for men during peacetime is often said to have been a crucial pivot point in securing women's right to work, vote, and other fields of society achieving legal equality with men. And no other comment about that right now. So, uh, let's see, we got revolution, counter revolution, and I can't wait for the rhetoric of hate. That sounds like a great thing. Don't quote me on that. Uh, let's go and grab some more naval bases, actually. That'd be nice. And we, we've got to focus a lot more on ships, really. We really, really, really do. We're going to come on back, have a good old time. I should send my ships over here, too. Where, uh, where are you guys at? Oh! Oh, hello. You're still over here. Well, that's not good. What the heck? Why are you still over there? And in the meantime, you guys head back over here and uh, have a good time. Life without parole, no one may have this little fellow. Started out with the proverbial pins and needles, and pretty soon he was on to robbing banks. He'll be spending the rest of his life here, so we can keep him in chains most of the time. I suspect he'll drive him insane in a few years, if he hasn't already. Imprisonment for life without the possibility of parole is not an uncommon punishment in France, however. In certain liberal circles, there have been arguments on the nature of crime and punishment lately. With the opinion being advanced that the human being changed is incapable of being swayed by the ang angels of his better nature, while well, kept under miserable conditions, there is a growing movement for a liberalization of the uh, prison law arenas. It can be certainly considered. I say we stick with the old ways, rehabilitation. Ah, I kind of like that more, more prestige, but you know what? We're a very we're trying to be as liberal as we possibly can here. So let's get rid of some Ethiopians. Yeah, we're losing a few guys ourselves, but that's all right. You know what happens. Oh, is that enough for me to take a retria? I don't think it is. No, we need a little bit more power here. If that's the case, you both come here, and we're gonna go together. And give us about another month before uh, we do stuff. Oh, someone's got rebels in one of our spheres. Give us one more month to get more morale back and strength. And let's watch the Americans come on in. Ah, American gunboat diplomacy. You know, you know, I don't want. I'm going to jinx myself right here. We haven't had riots in a while, and by riots, I mean like you know rebels and such. So, Karen. Oh boy, I don't want to take out Karen. Oh, is this mountains? It's not. That's right. I love it that we just use our allies and they just. People just help us out and just take other people out. I love it. I think up next I might take out these guys too. War Sangali, just because if we ever take Djibouti, that would actually be pretty good for us. Like, that would connect us with Eritrea, so. Is that enough? Yes, it is. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And, oh darn it, that's not enough population for us to aid up here. But Asab? Yes, we've got to keep an eye on our money though. Are we missing anything? Actually, our soldiers are looking relatively okay. Dongol is not looking too bad. I'm, not, I'm gonna wait to build soldiers there. But that's not too bad. And once again, we are expanding our way, hopefully, into more of what we call Africa. Oh, yes, very good, very good, very good. 
and we shall see what happens, especially with that. Now, I would like to go back to war with the Southeast Asian countries, but we shall see in what time. And actually, off screen, we were able to get, like, the Saharan frontier thing. We've, I've read it before, before, so maybe I should have shown it to you, but we did get this part of Dongola, in which we have Islamic fundamentalists. Oh, Flemish nationalists? I know where to put you, and you guys, right, there you go. Help him out. Well, how about you? I'm trying to research electricity right now. It is 1877. And hopefully we're having a good time. Oh boy, that's a lot of dudes. Wow. That's a lot of dead guys. Nice. Flemish nationalists. Come on, man. Oh. Oh! Even Sir Didier Pete. Oh. Well, if that's the case, I'm going to go and start influencing you then. Give me your goods. Well, rally with these guys. They're great power. Hopefully they can hold on to it. Wow. Ah, Flemish people, you're just killing yourselves off, and for what reason? Oh, why are we making so much money now? Is it because we're killing our, you know, people off? I'm gonna go back to war with China too. I want to take. So my plan with China really is just for us to uh, basically kill them until and take all the ports until they have no more ports left. That's pretty much my goal. <laughs> so, and once they have no more ports, then I'll just directly annex some of their territory. So, absolute for sure. The next one is China. After this, I've already read this one, so we're just gonna do this. I like more prestige. <clears throat> yeah, Venezuela, you pissed me off too much in this episode. Not this episode, but this campaign, so. Nope. I think they're under the American sphere or influence, so. Nah, we're good. Let's see, most support is for the liberal faction. Oh, please don't. Please keep us on, the, on what we're on right now. It's actually working out okay for us. I would love to get Djibouti under us. That'd be so nice. Nope. Actually, we might be able to use a Spanish light on. If they do it again, maybe we'll do that. They have really good relations with these guys, too. They're four... Wow. You think that the Brits would be number one in the... Well, close to number one. They're only fourth. We're actually fifth. We're right behind them. Hey, no. Ah, I like making Africa nice and blue. And here we are in 1878, November 27th, in which... Well, we're already good with China. I've had just... Literally just a few recent rebellions with militant socialists. I spoke too soon last time, but we look up here. Well, Portugal wants to go to war with the Qing. The British and their allies want to go to war with the Qing. So let's go with the war with the Qing as well. And hopefully take something before everyone else takes something as well. So let's go and do this. And will everyone come in? Yes, they will. I'd hate to be the Qing Chinese right now because everyone in the world is going literally for their booties right now. Uh, good, 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 good. Call the Italians. We love the Italians, of course. Yeah, we had a lot of rebels. That sucks. Oof. Keep an open mind? Sure. Why not? And we have some rebels over there, too, which really just got awful. Just really bad. Oh, my God. Stop rebelling, people. You don't have it that bad. You actually have it extremely good right now. We'll be back. French West... Oh, uh, wait, what? Did they... What the... They actually rebelled against me, didn't they? All right, well... I'm going to go over them immediately. Slash Protectorate. Yeah, you're not going to rebel against me, son. No, 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 no. We're getting on that boat. We're coming right here. All right, so we're going to take that, take that. That sucks. That really sucks that we lost those guys. There you go. And we've got that. Send them in. And, cool. Not bad. And we really could use more population growth. Oh, my goodness. Hey, that's why we've got some x-rays. Great. Our military should be vast, vastly superior to the Chinese army now. Should hopefully be a good thing. Help them out up there. Good. And actually, before we do that, how many more do we need to kill? We're at six. Not much. Oh, we're already here already. Nice. And we're doing semi optimization as well to help our factories out. So hopefully we'll do okay. Literally thousands are dying by the day, which is okay with me. Anything else here? No, they still want to accept that, huh? All right, you guys go there, and I'm going to take you guys and go right there. Oh. Well, let's, he let's head on in, everyone. Let's see what we can do. Uh, yes. Guangdong? No, no, no. You have no justification for being there, my boy. Man, I can't even have stuff there. That sucks. Well, now we're beating it out. We could really spend more on the military. Even though I'm trying to get more money back, too. I spent a lot of money on just built, expanding factories, which I should just leave to the capitalists, but whatever. Alright, and not bad. Hey! Yes. We will quickly t grab that while the... Oh, man. Those guys are moving in quickly. 
So, I'm glad we did this really quickly just because the port someone's going to get cucked out of a treaty port, and we are not. Either the Portuguese probably won't get one. The second opium war. I've had like five wars with these guys already, so. In the meantime, let's go increase relations because just just for the, just because we can. What are the Qingdao Wei Hai Wei? So either we get East Shandong or West Shandong. 73,000. This is more population. Uh, it's a little tip here. Uh, it doesn't really matter to me too much. Fruit or grain. Either one really just... It doesn't matter. I just wanted to beat these guys up for money. Um, Overall... Is there anything remarkable about, about any of these? This is the more bureaucrats, which isn't bad. There's literally like no difference to me. Ooh... There's a lot of different types of different Chinese here. So, you know what, let's take the Qingdao so they can't have that, maybe. Yeah, and that's slightly closer to that to uh, the other ones down here. So, we shall take Qingdao. If you'd like to read about the Wei Highway Treaty Port, go right ahead, which was okay. We found an international African association. But the Qingdao Treaty Port. It's a sleepy fishing town undergoing dramatic changes. A naval station and garrisons were built by the rulers of the Qing Dynasty and the increasing presence of Western ships is increasing its importance. We, it would be in a splendid gateway to North. Or at least northern China. Thank you very much. And hopefully we have no more rebels. And oh, it's very nice. Not too bad. Not too bad. As long as they don't rebel, we should do relatively okay with them. And my goodness, we oh, our armies are just looking just tired. Not even strong. They're just looking tired. Oh my goodness. Maybe we'll go to war with African nations next. We'll see. Well, everyone. It's 1879. And you know what I love? Even though we had rebels, so did the Dutch. And if you look at this. Akka is back. Siak, Jambi. Oh, I can't. I love it. You know, as much as I hate having rebels, I love it when our enemies or potential enemies have rebels too. And this is one of the best spots probably in the game to have Palembang and Lampung and uh, just all these places. I love it. I love it. It's great. New store, awesome. Mother, mother, they're opening a new store in town. Uh, it's going to be hopefully a great decade for colonization and such. Oh, look at this. Oh, they still have rebels. Three thousand people. Oh boy. Oh boy. I can't wait. Oh, also, we had, uh, like I said last time about the peace deal between, uh, there's a peace, actually, there is a peace deal between the UK and their allies, and of all places for China, to take from China, they, the, the British, they took North Zhejiang. Literally, the one thing that would have connected Ningbo and Zhangxing, Zhaoxing, together, out of all the provinces here, they could have taken literally any other province here. But they decided to take the ones that I needed. I don't like the British. They're not my allies. They're allied to the, the despicable Germans. Uh, it is not bueno, some would say. But I think this will be the last thing we do here for this little episode. I definitely want to come back down here sometime. But let's go beat up some cavalrymen, shall we? Oh, big ship competitor. We're doing blue and brown water schools, I think that's what it's called. Yeah, it is. New Yes. Automate, automate. Oh, we're making quite a bit of money. I love China. They're still getting us a lot of money. I have max out tariffs just because I, I don't want to have less money anymore. I just want to have money. Like, we need money. Like, in real life, too, but, like, for realsies. After this, we're going to go to Siak. And we're looking pretty good on Infamy. So, not bad. Really, just not bad at all. I'm so glad the Dutch actually exploded. This is the first time I've actually seen them explode due to Rebels. Now, we lost Guangdong. You saw last time, in the last Fade and Fade Out, you saw that. We, I lost Guangdong and came back with a really harsh vengeance and oh we put them down quite right so not too bad look at that money nope you're allied to the brits romania our best friend huh also this is really disgusting but look at this the russian empire took like mosul or baghdad like what the heck russia this is disgusting romania's looking a little thicker but not too bad they did get dobrugia um but yeah these guys broke our alliance with us which is really sad i don't know why you need allies but okay other than that, we we'll probably go to war with Mahadis Sudan just because we can. And we still need to build up actually more ports. Hold on, let's see. Yeah, it, it takes a while to build up ports. And we can... I just need more need more population. I, I don't know. France is not as easy as I would hope. But then again, I'm not an optimal Vicky 2 player. Obviously, what I do, I try my best the best I can. But it's not as good as, you know, some other people. Well, I'm sure they could do better. But, you know, we play for fun. Or at least to do the best we possibly can. Actually, what's the population like? 60 million? Yeah, that's actually pretty pretty close to what was being historical, but let's go with this. Nice. I can't believe I can't believe we just took that. I mean, because of the incompetence of the Dutch. I mean, and then again, you know, we, we weren't doing great either, but hey, 
it is what it is, and we'll probably continue going up this little island chain, which I'm not sure what this is called. Is it called... I guess it's Sumatra here, huh? Anyways, hope you enjoyed this uh, shortish episode. If you did, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I will see you tomorrow, when we will take out, hopefully, a lot of people down here and reap the profits. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.